What's going on you guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to submit a copyright takedown request on YouTube. So I'm actually going to be showing you a legitimate copyright takedown request process because I actually am going to be submitting a real copyright takedown. So this is what pretty much happened. I was finding clips from the CJ Studios channel to put together for YouTube Shorts. However, I actually search up an episode of Beyond City called The New Room. So when I searched this up, I was right when I was about to click on my video, I came across this. The New Room, The Adventures of Beyond City from a YouTube channel called YT Islamic Studio. That's my video, but that's not my channel. I click on it and come to my surprise. <laughs> Yeah, see, somebody actually screen recorded my uh, cartoon, and the audio is really crappy. They used some uh, cheap screen recorder, and they blocked out the CJ Studios watermark, which usually pops up at around, like, right over here. And then there's another watermark right here called HKTV. So I thought this was a simple person trying to steal one of my Vyond cartoons because there are some YouTubers who will steal Vyond videos from other Go animators. So I did some surfing around on his channel and it wasn't exactly what I expected. It's a YouTube channel, which I think this might be a bot account, which was said to be located in Pakistan. I did some surfing around and some of these videos do look legitimate, but when you scroll down to the first few videos of what they have, it seems like they're actually just taking clips from random cartoons they find on YouTube. There's Disney cartoons, Pixar, they got Plotagon videos, and then um, they got some YouTube kids cartoons. And then here's mine, a Vion cartoon owned by CJ Studios. From the looks of it though, this is the only video on their channel that's actually mine. Okay, I wasn't too fond of this either. Um, you guys know how I am when it comes to people stealing my work. I'll allow certain people to post my videos under a certain condition. Fair use. Copyright 2023 Caesar Jr. Studios Indie Filmmaking. CJ Studios reserves all rights to the video footage, raw footage, final picture, behind the scenes, and editing. And this is where the fair use policy comes in. My Vyond cartoons are the sole reason why I actually watermark the CJ Studios films. That way, nobody could take my work. One thing I didn't really think through is that somebody could block out my watermark and put their own. You can't really call this your own work regardless. Cause look right here. The Adventures of Beyond City, created by Cesar Rosas Jr. And the HKTV watermark doesn't help prove that it's your work because what's right here? Series, copyright, CJ Studios. All right guys, let's get to the tutorial. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to YouTube Studio and make sure you're logged in to the right account. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't really matter, but you know, just to be safe. You're gonna click on copyright, and then you're gonna head straight to, oh, 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 I guess YouTube found an auto filter for me. Okay, so you could optionally contact them. Okay, so what you're gonna do is click removal requests and click new removal requests, and this is where you would provide all your info. YouTube pretty much found the match for me, so I'm just gonna click right here, request video removal. And this is basically where it adds everything from scratch. I do want to point out real quick um, for this scene right here is that if it's not the full entire video that was taken, you have to specify the timestamps. If you don't do this, YouTube may suspect your copyright claim to be fraudulent. If YouTube is suspecting that you are submitting a fraudulent takedown request, you are putting your YouTube channel at risk of being terminated. So you got to specify the timestamps from the infringing video and the timestamps that was copied from the original video. Okay, so copyright owner. So for affected party, um, you can either click myself or my company, organization, or client. Now the copyright owner name, so you could put your legal name or you could put the indie brand that you represent. 
which in my case, CJ Studios. Now for your third one, you're going to put your phone number, which uh, I'm obviously not gonna leak, so uh, good luck trying to call me. So for primary email, it's basically the email address that your YouTube account is under. I do have a second email, which is my CJ Studios email, so you could put that just in case. So, relationship to the copyright content, owner. Now right here, you're gonna put your country, so these I also have censored, so your city, your state, and your zip code. Now for removal options, you can schedule a seven day notice where YouTube will give the uploader seven days to remove the video, otherwise they'll get a copyright strike. However, if they don't follow the fair use policy, I do not go easy on them, so I'm gonna request the removal right now. Now, you could optionally prevent copies of your video being uh, published on YouTube. I'm not gonna click this though, um, <clears throat> legal agreements, okay. These are important. I have a good faith belief the use of the material in the manner complained of is not uh, authorized by the copyright owner, its agent, or the law. Check. The information of this notification is accurate and under penalty of per uh, perjury. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. I am the owner or an agent authorized to act on behalf of the owner of an exclusive right that is allegedly infringed. Check. I understand that the abuse of this tool, such as submitting removal requests for content I do not own, may result in termination of my YouTube account. Check. While I do own the video, I don't think CJ Studios is going to be terminated. Now, last but not least, you have to sign your full legal name as a signature. So make sure you guys are not putting your brand name or your YouTube name under the signature. If you want your YouTube name to be included, you put it right over here. Copyright owner name, not signature. So now all you gotta do is click submit. Alright, so view progress in the request removal tab. Alright, so if you click on removal requests, you will see right over here in the request status that it's under progress. So it's currently being reviewed by YouTube right now, or if not right now, they will get it eventually. As you guys see, I've actually had to deal with this before. I actually had to deal with this on this channel as well. Anyways, the process of a copyright takedown request may take up to a day or two at most. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait till the next day and I will show you what happens next. Alright guys, it's the next day and this morning I did receive an email from YouTube confirming that the video has finally been removed. The process of a removal request can take up to a day at most. If you go over here to copyright in the YouTube studio and click remove all requests, you'll see right here, resolved, video removed. And if you click on the link, it's gone, right here. This video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by CJ Studios. I don't know if you noticed the bookmark up here, suspect, that's the link to the person's channel, but when I clicked on it this morning, yeah, I think I may have gotten his entire channel terminated. Not really surprised though, that person, whoever was running the page, uh, they stole a bunch of videos. But yeah, I was just trying to get mine taken down. I didn't think I was gonna get his whole channel banned, but. Uh, quite frankly, I have no regrets. <laughs> Look, it's cool if you want to post like a small clip of a show or something, but like just make sure you're doing it under the law of fair use. Anyways, that's how you submit a copyright takedown request on YouTube. It's just a few easy steps. Just make sure you're doing it the right way because if you make one wrong step, then they could terminate your channel. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and subscribe to CJ Studios. Hopefully this helps you guys out. But anyways, I'm going to be signing off. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.